Hi and welcome to the James Oliver Guitar Channel and this is vinyl video number 79 of albums, artists, bands I love etc. For the vinyl series up first, this is Burt Whedon with 40 great guitars. You can say what you want about Burt Whedon but he was a wonderful guitar player and he started off a lot of players. There's some great stuff on this, Spanish Harlem, Hawaiian Wedding Song, Caravan he does, Walk Down Run, Guitar Boogie Shuffle. Absolutely superb guitar player, and if you're, and if you're into your guitar player and your twangy guitar, instrumental guitar stuff, if you see a Burt Whedon LP, they're cheap. Pick them up, because they're great. So that's Hank Williams compilation, just called Volume 1, on the Grand Canyon label. Anything Hank is brilliant. Long Gone and Lonesome, Mansion on the Hill. Cold Cold Heart, Morning Blues, Dear John, Lovesick Blues, Move On Over. One of the first real rockabilly records, I'd say. Howling at the Moon, which is a personal favourite of mine. There's some cool pictures of Hank on this as well. Just a cheap compilation, but definitely worth picking up because it doesn't matter how much the record is if the music is brilliant. Up next is uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival with uh, Willie and the Poor Boys. Love Creedence, John Fogarty. Brilliant vocalist, great songs. Down on the Corner, Poor Boys Shuffle, Fortunate Son, The Midnight Special. Absolutely fantastic. What a great band they are. John Fogarty's still going today, of course. Edmunds covered songs like Almost Saturday Night by him. Brilliant songs. Bit of Pink Floyd next. This is the final cut. I've always liked this album. The Post War Dream. The Fletcher's Memorial Home is a favourite. Southampton Dark. Not Now John, which was the single off the record. And it's just a, it's just a follow up to the wall, there is. And uh, if you're into Floyd. Definitely worth having uh, the final cut. Great Hendrix album next. This is Hendrix in the West. Some killer stuff on this. He does Love a Man, Johnny Be Good, Blue Suede Shoes. My favourite version of Red House, Little Wing, Voodoo Child. I mean, you can't get no better. One of the greatest guitar players of all time, Jimi Hendrix. This is a must-have record for any rock blues guitar freak. You know? Dylan next with Infidels. One of my favourite Dylan songs on this, Joker Man. He also does Licence to Kill, which I love on the Bob Dylan uh, 30th anniversary concert that Tom Petty does. It's brilliant, it is. And uh, Man of Peace is on this as well. Don't don't Fall Apart on Me Tonight. It's a really good Dylan album, another, uh, an 80s Dylan album, so there's Infidels. I think it's 80s, isn't it? Yeah, it is 80s. It's 80... 83, I think it says on the back. I can't quite see it. Great record, though. Infidels by Dylan. Bit of a more of a rocky one. This is Argus by Wishbone House. This is a classic album. And there's some really good stuff on this. Time Was, Blowing Free, The King Will Come, Warrior. Signed by Andy Powell when I went to see them. And they were doing this record and I liked it. And uh, not, nothing else really to say. He plays a Gibson Flying V. And they're, quite, they're a very melodic uh, sort of double guitar band. The Cramps Lie, The Smell of a Female, Poison Ivy on guitar, the great uh, great band that they are, The Cramps. This is, a, this is a live album. There's some good stuff on this as well. There's one track on here I really like, and I can't remember what it's called. Oh yeah, we are. Faster Pussycat, Psychotic. Absolutely brilliant. If you're into your psychobilly, definitely check out The Cramps. This is an interesting one for me. This is uh, King's Record Shop by Roseanne Cash, a recommendation from a friend, uh, Patrick Hogan, who's a, a music uh, encyclopedia of Americana country and roots music. And uh, I'm not a big lover of the production on this, but the songs are brilliant. I mean, she does a brilliant version of Runaway Train, which I first heard Albert Lee do. She does Tennessee Flat Top Box, her father's song. Absolutely great record. Rosie Strikes Back. If You Change Your Mind, The Real Me, Country Rock Americana, produced by Rodney Crowell. You can't go wrong. We all love Rodney. And that's the uh, Roseanne Cash. And last but not least, it's quite an interesting one. This is the College Radio Network presents Dave Emmers and Rock Pile. It's a white label promo, you know, for Rock Pile. There's an introduction on there. They do uh, My Own Business and an interview, Deborah and an interview, Never Been in Love. I Hear You Knocking. 
Features Dave Edmonds, Billy Brendan, Nick Lowe, Terry Williams on drums, Jerry Organ, of course, from Organ's Heroes on steel guitar, and Pete Kelly on piano. And they produce it, they are, they are pr producing, promoting uh, tracks on wax and uh, get it. So there we have it, there's another 10 records. I hope you enjoyed today's offerings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all again next week for episode number 80. Getting closer to that 100. Cheers.